Hey, what's up, guys? Um, it took a little while to get here, but I finally did get um, the Twin Peaks from Z to A complete, well, the current complete collection, I suppose. Um, and I say that because it's they're going to release the entire 4K set at some point, I would imagine. But uh, right now, this is everything that they've released. Uh, the first two seasons, the uh, limited edition, uh, limited edition, the limited series, third season, the film Fire Walk With Me, and then a bunch of extras that have all been released before, plus apparently new extras, about 18-ish hours of new extras, which is one of the reasons why I got this. Um, because technically I did, I owned almost all of this stuff. I didn't own Firewalk with me, and I did know some of the special features. Um, but I figured this is a collector's edition. I really do like this series, and uh, I just figured it'd be cool to have. So so I got it. It was a bit more expensive than I wanted to ha spend, um, honestly. It was about 130 ish dollars before taxes. Uh, I think it's 120 something now, so it's a little bit cheaper. But I, I pre-ordered this back in... Um, August, I think. So I was, again, kind of a little annoyed that it was delayed by a couple of days. Today's Thursday night, um, the 12th of December. And I ordered it, obviously, back in August, and it was, was released on this Tuesday, the 10th. And for but still, I got it. It was, it was delayed. But then again, I noticed online a lot of people were delayed, so it was just a ordering thing. I don't know. So it doesn't matter, I guess. Either way, I still got it. Um, if you look at the back here quickly before I open it, it says, um, there's a quote from him in the first episode, Special Agent DJ Dale Cooper. Excuse me. It says, Diane, never seen so many trees in my life. It's very cool. Um, it says, there's no shortage of magnificent Douglas fir trees in Twin Peaks. Excuse me, Twin Peaks. But this collector's box set is limited to only 25,000 copies. 25,000 copies is not really a limited amount, honestly. I know they... Most releases have hundreds of thousands of copies. 25,000 is obviously way less than that, but 25,000 is a lot. And I don't know if there are that many diehard fans out there who are going to buy this set, but I guess I'm one of them. It was If it was more like 10,000, I could see it being more limited, but 25,000 copies is, is not going to sell out soon. So I probably could have waited on this, honestly. But I didn't. Here it is. So anyway... How do we crack this thing open? I like the design. It's very minimalistic, kind of, but it's also got a nice, with, with the, the forest setting, the Pacific Northwest. I really did like that setting. This is uh, the Twin Peaks here is embossed, and so is from Z to A. The technical specs are on the bottom. I think that's, it's not a sticker or anything. That's just what's on the bottom. There's that. I guess maybe I'll look at that once the shrink wrap is off, because it's kind of bulky here. How do I, uh, let's see. This is shrink wrapped, as you can see. Hold on. Let me get over here. Do a quick little slit on the front. Try not to stick my knife in here too far. All right, let's do that. that's probably good enough. It seems like it's a sturdy box. I've heard some complaints online from people who did get it a little earlier than me. Like I said, it was released two days ago, but. A lot of people online I saw did not get it on release day, for whatever reason. Okay, that's the shrink wrap there. Okay. Oh, this comes off here. Well, let's look at the back here. Again. Okay, and this is like a little cube. Oh, it does come off. All right, it's one piece. All right. Um, all that stuff I just read. There's the image that if you've been looking online, that's what you've seen. It's got a little fold, two fold-out sleeves, I think, and it's got some little cards in there, and then I think that's the 4K disc, I'm assuming. Uh, immerse yourself in the entire universe of Twin Peaks with Season 1 and 2, uh, Limited Series, Far With Me, Missing Pieces, Far With Me, Deleted Scenes. That's all the stuff that came that in that other release. Um, but I actually haven't sold it yet, but I still have. But uh, 4K Ultra HD version of the original series pilot and Part 8 of the Limited Series. So only two episodes. I thought it was three. I thought there were two episodes of a limited series, but I guess it's just the one. But you know, I guess it's better than nothing. Uh, behind the curtain, behind the scenes slash making of footage for all 18 parts of a limited series, which I don't... I don't know if that's new. That might be new. Um, Full-length versions of all Roadhouse music. That's new. Definitely. Uh, a talk with Kyle McLaughlin and Cheryl Lee, an in-depth and intimate interview. The actors on the couch with Harry and Kitty featurette. Exclusive die-cut acrylic figure of Laura Palmer kissing Agent Cooper. 
Red Room Gallery 25 printed images from the Red Room, which can be displayed inside your own Red Room as a shown as shown above, like like this, I think, and stuff. Um, yeah, and a slew of previously released special features. So, I think everything that's been released is in here, plus new stuff. So, let's see if I can take this off here. Okay, just one piece of glue. I like that. It's a lot easier to. Together, so I'll just kind of fold that over for now. So it looks like this is actually slightly embossed, the trees and stuff. Very cool. So actually the, bo at the bottom is um, not, it doesn't have uh, writing on it. It's just got the information down here. It says, from Z to A, produced by David Lynch, Ken Ross, and Sabrina S. Sutherland. And then there's a number there. So now, how do I open this? I don't want to, okay, it folds out. Like that, and it has some bubble wrap in there, which is nice. Is that, uh, oh, there it goes, okay, it comes up. Okay, I was just protecting it, I assume. This is the acrylic stand they were talking about. That's kind of cool, I guess. That over there for the moment. Let's take a look, see here. Oh, it's magnetized, that's why. Okay, so it just closes like that. That's nice. Okay. Let's take a look at these here. Can this come out? I don't think so. Can it come out? I don't want to pull on it, so. There's one sleeve. There's two and the Redwood Gallery, and then I think that's the 4K disc, so... I guess it's pretty simple. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yep. It's the original pilot, and the altered international pilot, and then a limited event series part 8. That's cool, just the one 4K disc, which I can I can see that was the main complaint I read online from people. I don't care so much, because it wouldn't surprise me if, they, if it's another five, six, seven years before they even release it on 4K, if they do. I assume they will, but you know, I don't want to wait that long. Um, I guess I could look at the discs here first. I think it's going to be the exact same um, discs that they had before. It looks like they are. Now, is this easier than the other ones? This is... Mm, it's about the same, I'd say. It's disc 10. And he's sliding here pretty easily. Okay. I'm not going to take all these out, but I'm just going to look at them quick. Yeah, there were a lot of discs. There's disc 1, disc 2, disc 3. Disc 4, okay, yeah. So that's the limited series. What's that? Is that a smudger right? See that there? That's kind of lame. That didn't take long at all. Look at that. It's already like marks and stuff on it. Like I said, this is this is about 130 bucks plus tax, and it's already fucking smudged. That's kind of lame. And this is the um, um, that's the oh this ten. That's the um. The movie, special features, Fire Walk with Me. And then, so they actually did change the disc art from the um, first seasons. It was the, the first seasons were like a blue um, design. And that is what's this here? Oh, they actually it says the, uh, the second season. Disc four, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, cool. Second season. So yeah, okay. I like their descripting. I feel like the other set did not have as much description on them. Uh, the seven second season, disc three second season, first season, and the first season. Okay. So just season one was only two discs, and season uh, two was um, lots of discs. <laughs> 
These are pretty easy to get out though, and I don't I mean, I feel like this is not it's not scratching as far as I can tell. I don't like this packaging as much, but you know, this you know what can you do or something like this. It's not like hard cardboard, but it's kind of it's still cardboard and still you know rubbing against, but it's you know it's okay packaging. I like the design though. I like the the wiggle room. It's cool. Although it is kind of flimsy considering how much money this was. So that's kind of disappointing, but you know, at the same time. So let's check out this red room gallery. Okay. What's this first thing here? Okay, look. There we go. And I have 12,918 out of 25,000. Okay. That says certificate of authenticity spelled backwards. Because that's just how things are rolling here. Okay. First little art card. Cool. Hmm. It's uh, actually it's not really really thick cardboard. It's more of a you know it's a it's a thin like like postcard paper, I suppose. And these, there's nothing on the back of any of these. That's the, the ring. The ring. Need to watch season three again. I think I watched it uh, when it was first released on a Blu-ray. I kind of binged it over a weekend. It was just it was wonderful. I loved it. I don't know if I understood all of it, but I really did like it. Um, I had really just over the last couple of years started watching Twin Peaks for the first time. I'd seen the first season um, many years ago actually, and uh, thought it was interesting. And then season two, I really it threw me for a loop. It did not make sense, which. After learning more about the series, it makes more sense why it didn't make sense. But um, season two, I, I have appreciated a little bit more after watching it again. It's still not as good as season one because it's not possible. But uh, well, that's right. I'm gonna watch the whole series again. I think over this next summer. And, well, actually, I got I got time in the spring probably. I could do it. I got a chance. But I really do need to watch season three again. And there he is. There's a lot of art cards. I have to say though, for um, what would you call it, 130 bucks, like I said, it's a little, it's a little expensive. I suppose you're paying for those special features. Let's check out, see which disc that is here. You can make a collage of these if you wanted to. I mean that's cool I guess but it's a little expensive if you owned any of the other sets um, it's cheaper to just pick up well I guess the one set's harder to find now um, I, I guess I still have my copy I was planning on selling it um, for around 40 ish dollars if someone wants it I guess but um, it's a cool set this, this set's pretty neat I'm, I'm going to look for that episode now let's see this is season 2 again Okay, let me check at this set. Okay. Q. 
curious. Disc 10, okay. A talk with Kyle McLaughlin, okay, that's it. And then Roadhouse Music is on that one, okay. Disc 10. Disc 8. Visual features, excuse me. Uh, impressions, a journey behind the scenes of Twin Peaks. That looks interesting. Is that new? I don't recall that. Disc 8. Doesn't look like there's any um, episodes on here. Just special features. Hmm. the curtain parts one and excuse me parts one through twelve of the couch on the couch with Kimmy and Harry that sounds like a lot of information there so disc seven is is the last disc um, for the limited events series parts 17 and 18 okay. I think so what did that say before hold on Let's look to that one. So it's going to be this disc. This is disc 10. And this has all the... Okay, yeah, the rest of the behind the curtain. Okay, parts 13 through 18. And then a talk with... And then we're... Okay, cool. All right. So it's... Yeah, okay. It's in order. All the discs look the same now, so it's a little bit different. Well, this just goes in here. And that's... I guess it's pretty simple. Let's go this way or is it this way? This way, okay, sideways. Let me just go back to here. Hold on a second. There's that. And that goes behind. And the 4K disc goes behind that, or I'll just put it right in there. Okay. And that's just kind of clip, it's a little, uh, Velcro type thing, which you can just kind of push into, like that. And then this just kind of goes like that. How does this go in here? I wanted to shut this. Can this just go here? It's going to move around if I do that. I guess I'm not moving it around much, but I guess I can put this back in here. Hold on. Oh, hold on, there's actually some metal pieces right here to hold this together? Are there instructions for this? I feel like I'm an idiot right now. Hmm. You know what would have been great if it came with this? If it came with a diesel copy. That'd be awesome. But no. So these metal pieces go on something, I assume. I'll have to look around for that. Made in China, of course. But I better look at this little acrylic piece. Hmm. Well, I'll fiddle around with this some more later, I think. I actually considered not opening it, just keeping it packaged. Um, but I, like I said, I, I, I sold the unlimited edition set, so I'm going to want to obviously watch these at some point. So I figured why not, but um, I'll just take it out for a second here. Twin Peaks from ZDA. I like that it's shelf size, so you can put it on a shelf and it shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, so yeah, I guess that's it. Um, it's a little bit lackluster than I th more lackluster than I thought it would be, but at the same time, you know, it's got everything that has ever been released, plus the music, plus... Um, some packaging in this acrylic thing. Cover on here. Hmm. This is not necessary to me, but it's still kind of neat, I guess. It's a little collectible. And it's if they're numbered like that, it's kind of cool, I guess. But um, overall, I mean, I'm glad I have it. But, you know, if you if you own other sets, I would I guess I would just try to collect those if you can. Um, I don't, at the same time, I, I, this is probably going to go on sale for about 100 bucks at some point, I'm guessing. 
So I really could have waited, but uh, I didn't want to, because why not? So yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and hope you have a good, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, all that stuff. It's uh, it's uh, it's that time of year right now. I'm not planning on. I don't think I've got anything else specific coming in. Um, not off the top of my head, anyway. So if I don't see you um, before the new year, have a good, have a happy new year. You know, 2020 is about around the corner now. I'm really gonna try to um, watch more of what I already own as opposed to buying more stuff this next year. That's something I tell myself every year. I feel like, but uh, I have an entire selection of Kino Lorber films that I feel like I have not touched very much, and a bunch of Criterion's I haven't watched yet. So I got a lot of stuff to watch. And I'm going to try my best to refrain from buying everything I want. So we'll see if I can do it into the, into the new year. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. Everything. Everyone. Anyone ever less celebrates this time of year. It's, uh, it's a nice time of year. Nice and cold out here in Minnesota. But um, I'm happy to be here doing this. So thanks for watching, guys. And I will talk to you again later. See you later. Bye.